Hey everyone, welcome back to this brand new video uploading here on the channel of Game Time Life. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you two super cool female outfits using one slot and the outfit transfer glitch. Basically, these outfits are very different from each other. On the first slot, we have an outfit with like white and gray. And on the second, we have one with black and yellow. So... I think the black and yellow one is my favorite because it looks very unique and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create those outfits from the thumbnail that you saw and probably why you clicked on this video. So I do want to note that I'm only going to be showing you the components. So you have to make sure that you know how the transfer glitch works in order to transfer these components over to your female character. So what I suggest you to do is just take a look at the description box down below. I have a link for you down there showing you step by step how to create your outfit transfer glitch works. Just watch that video, make sure that you follow all the steps and know the procedure, how it works. And then you can just simply co uh, copy these components that I'm showing you for the outfit that you want. And you can just simply create the outfits. Now keep in mind that all your current outfits will be removed and you have to delete your second character as soon as you start with the glitch. So let's start with the components for outfit number one, the white and the gray outfits. So you want to go over to the top section first with your second male character, go into the bomber jackets and put on the black SN bomber. Now if your bomber jacket is closed, please make sure that you back out of the top section. Just open up the interaction menu, go to style and scroll over to jacket and make sure that you set it to open. Now underneath jacket, you want to go to the designer t-shirts and put on the Pegasus t-shirt. And this combination will give the gray tank top with the white glitched business shirt. So then you want to go into the suit pants and you want to put on the classic ivory suit pants for a pair of white stockings. And then we're going over to the accessory section. So go into the chains first and put on the gold magnetic necklace to merge or white bow tie. And then for the gloves, you want to put on the light woodland tactical gloves. Now you can leave the chain off if you do not want to merge a bow tie. It will not affect the outfit. So then you want to go into the shoes, go into the sneakers, and you want to put on the pink plain high top sneaker. So now this will be outfit number one. Make sure that you save it on slot number one. So now we're going to be moving over to the components for the black and yellow female outfit with the cat suit pants, the coverall top, and the race gloves and everything. A very cool outfit. So we're going back into the top section, go into the leather jackets and you want to put on the green steel jacket, which will be our um, yellow coverall top. Then for the pants, you want to go into the arena war pants and you want to put on the bash chain pants, which will be our yellow catsuit bottoms. So then you want to go back into the accessory section and from this point on, you do not have to put on this black desert scarf. It is a merge component. I wanted to like merge the black scarf on the female outfits, but I decided to like take it off. So you do not have to apply this black dead scarf. You can just leave it off. What you do have to apply are the light woodland tactical gloves. And you want to make sure that you have your standard body armor applied throughout your interaction menu. Also, you want to leave those same shoes on the pink plain high tops. And then you can now just save this outfit on slot number two. Now somebody shot me there, so I just responded. But from this point on, both of your outfit components are basically done. And you can now proceed with the steps from the other video to transfer these components over to the female character. So just go back to that video, follow the steps to transfer it over. So just make sure that you buy some ammo, then just take the easy way out. Reapply the outfit that you're currently wearing and after the yellow save icon, you can just go into creator, test your saved race, then just um, delete your second character, go to story mode and back to an online session. Those other steps very quickly, all will be explained in the video. So I'm quickly going to be transferring it over and then I'll see you guys back in a second. Alright, so I'm back here on the female character and as you can see, both of the outfits have successfully transferred over for me. So now we're going to be starting with the preparation for outfit number one, the white and the gray outfits. 
So for this, you want to go over to the clothes store and make sure that you have bought the silver stuntman suits because we need these shoes in order to merge them onto the outfits. So as soon as you've got the outfit bought, then you just simply want to take off the helmet that is on the outfit and then you want to save it anywhere inside of your save it outfit outfits list. So then you want to go into the bodysuits and you want to buy any of these bodysuits. So I bought the luminous bodysuit. There are two more versions of that. So just apply one of those bodysuits and now you want to make your way over to the telescope inside your apartment. So you want to run past the telescope and press right on the d-pad and the mask will glitch off. So from this point on, hold down the interaction menu, go to style and just simply apply your stuntman suit outfit. Then you want to walk away from the telescope and run over to your closet. And as you can see, the mask will spawn on our stuntman suit. So now you want to go back into the top section. You can of course do this at the closed door too. You want to go into the fitted suit jacket first and apply any of these boating blazers. And as soon as you got that applied, you want to go back into the suit jackets and put on any open blazer, like I'm showing you in the gameplay right here. So as soon as you've applied any of these blazers, then you want to back out to go into the accessory section. You want to go into the ties and simply put on the tie that you want. And for me, I'm going to be putting on the white bow tie to merge onto the outfits. And now you can just pick a pair of gloves that you basically want to merge onto the outfits. So I chose to like do the gray gloves. You can also just merge white gloves if you want, doesn't matter. So as soon as your setup is ready, you have your bow tie, your gloves and your shoes. You can now open up the pause menu, go to the Rockstar Created First Jobs and from here just start up Crooked Cup. Now, as soon as you load into the job, make sure that clothing has been set to player own it. And or else you can just choose to like host the job yourself. So if clothing has been set over to player own it and there are enough players, just wait for the job to launch up. Now you will be over, brought back over to the screen right here. All you have to do is scroll over to own it outfits and go once to the right and there will be our first outfit merchant. So now head ready to play and just take it inside of the job and as soon as you load into the job, hold down the touchpad, go to style accessories and on gear you want to go once to the right to put on a rebreather or like a earpiece to just save up the outfit and take it into store or take it into free mode. So then you want to put the gun away, walk around for like 3 seconds, then you can just simply pull up the phone and quit this mission. Now as soon as you spawn back, make sure that you remove the outfit slot for outfit number 1 and just save this outfit which is all merged at the bottom of your outfits list. So now we're going to be making the preparations for outfit number 2. And for that we need another stuntman suit, but this time we're going to be repeating the steps but with any stuntman suit which has the black shoes underneath it. So I will not explain this again because I already showed how to do it. We're basically going to be doing the exact same as we did with the grey outfit. So removing the helmet, saving up the stuntman suit outfit anywhere, applying the bodysuit, doing the telescope glitch, and as soon as we are back here, then we're going to be applying the top components. So you want to go into the tops and you want to go into the racing jerseys and put on the downhill motocross racing jersey. Now this is basically the setup for the outfits. You do not have to save it, we're just going to be returning back over to Crooked Cop one more time. So back inside of the Crooked Cop mission, you're just going to make sure that the clothing again has been set over to player own it, and then just waiting for the job to fully launch up. So back on the screen right here, we're scrolling back over to own it outfits. Go once to the right again and this will be outfit number 2. And like I said, this is my favorite outfit. It matches so good and yeah, I really love this outfit. So as soon as you are here loaded inside of the mission, you already know what to do. You basically want to put on a repeater and just save up the outfits. Then just put the gun away, walk around for 3 seconds and then you're good to go. So then you want to pull up the phone and quit the mission of course and as soon as you spawn back you can now just reorganize your saved outfits. So I deleted the stuntman suit slots and I just saved this on slot number 2 and saved outfit number 1 back on slot number 1. So now you can finish off the outfits the way that you want it. Please note with outfit number 1, the grey and the white outfits, 
that if you want to like apply a mask or a helmet that you have to do the telescope glitch just like we did with the bodysuits to transfer a mask to this outfit and you can do the car glitch so you can add a hat or like the bike glitch with the CEO left right to add a helmet to this outfit. So that's all I gotta say for the second outfit with the black and yellow one. You can just apply the accessories. Nothing will spawn off that outfit. So I hope you guys like it, these two female outfits. If you would like to see more female outfits, leave it in the comment section down below. Also, you can leave any suggestions for new videos and maybe I will um, make a video on that. I'm also still working on the gender swap glitch. Currently, I'm not having a working method. So I will keep you up to date with that. So uh, please subscribe to the channel for more glitches and outfit tutorials and turn on post notifications to get informed with the latest uploads. Also, all my social media will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye everyone!